Last time I talked about Japanese coding culture and how it's built on principles like Kaizen and Jidoka, turning code bases into long-lasting gardens instead of disposable projects. After that, I explored the Finnish way of building software, where work-life balance, deep focus blocks, and the idea of Sisu make their teams surprisingly more effective by slowing down. If you haven't watched those yet, go back and check them out. Trust me, you'll love them. Now let's turn to Germany. German software is shaped by the same culture that builds BMW engines and precision medical devices. It's disciplined, standardized, and designed to last decades, where Japanese teams refine code step by step and Finnish teams optimize for sustainability. German teams engineer for absolute reliability. History proves it. SAP, founded in Waldorf in the 70s, became a global giant because its engineers treated business logic like industrial machinery. Siemens software runs inside trains, power grids, and hospitals with systems that often stay in production for over a decade without rewrites. Bosch pioneered embedded software for anti-lock brakes, and those safety systems still evolve today without losing stability. The strengths are obvious. Testing is mandatory. Standards like ISO 26262 for cars and IEC 62304 for healthcare ensure every commit meets safety rules. German teams also excel at formal verification, mathematically proving that critical software will never fail. That's why their code shows up in cars, planes, and medical devices places where bugs can't be patched with a hotfix. But there are downsides. German engineering culture sometimes overcomplicates things. Multiple abstraction layers, mountains of documentation, and long approval cycles can slow delivery. Berlin startups often complain about corporate processes that move too slowly for innovation. A recent example was the COVID tracing app. It eventually worked, but months of debate and bureaucracy delayed its launch. Cultural values explain a lot of this. Ordnung must sign, there must be order, shows up in structured modules and strict naming conventions. Vorsprung durch Technik, progress through technology, drives the pursuit of precision even when the user never sees it. The successes are massive. SAP powers global corporations. Bosch, Siemens, and Continental deliver embedded code that keeps cars safe and hospitals running. And the Fraunhofer Institute gave the world the MP3, rewriting how we listen to music. The takeaway? Japanese teams focus on craftsmanship and daily improvement. Finnish teams optimize for sustainability and balance. German teams engineer for precision and trust. Three different philosophies, but all worth learning from. And when you see a perfectly documented repo that feels more like an engineering manual than a side project, you're probably looking at code shaped by this German tradition.